She's been with us right from the beginning. had 300% samples this year, but uh, my average for the year, the 96 today, that should put me up over at the 97. I worked in like long-term care before yeah. logging, and then um, when Corey and I got together, he uh, got a job offer to go up to camp in Fort Nelson and asked me if I wanted to go. I ran Skitter there for two years, I think it was worked for another outfit up there. And then the company that Corey was working for in Clearwater they offered me a job running Skitter. So I ran Skitter until I got pregnant and then I got on the processor. That was a struggle pregnant for sure. You know, you get, uh, you got to ride in a crew truck with four other guys that stink. I got, I got pretty lucky having bosses that were pretty, that were willing to let me even start skidding and then to even upgrade me from the processor. And when I was up in Dawson Creek, I ran processor like a little tiny bit. So just enough to understand maybe the machine, but not really fully understand different mill specs and different things that they're looking for. Now after this long, it's uh, just like second nature. Processing is a tough job because you got two sides. Pro you got to process like quality and production. You can't even get over a pee. Like she's, like she's a busy she's girl, busy. right? Uh, she takes a lot of pride in her report cards, eh? Brittany, Brittany's about a year and a half in now. We couldn't find any workers, so we started branching out. Try some girls, and they seem to work out. They show up. They're definitely easier to keep the machines clean, their fluids up. So, my name's Brittany Boychuk. Um, I'm a skidder operator for Blue Steel Logging. I've been running skidder for a year now. I used to be a paramedic in Lumbee and ended up having to change a career. And now I drag logs. My other half started working with Blue Steel and we started with them in October. Uh, then January, I was done building bridges and they needed a medic and a skitter operator and been here since. The block we're on right now is up the Kettle. It's in the middle of the Monashee Mountains, east of Vernon, BC. Beautiful country, can't complain, look around. What's it like working with a, a band of guys for me, I'm used to it. It's been years yeah. of it. Every job I've had, it's <laughs> all dudes mostly. I guess for any um, females that are watching or, or any employers or males that are watching, you're making it obvious that you don't need a logging background. My parents don't log, my grandparents, so I'm a first generation logger. I never thought I'd be a logger, but yeah, you just, you learn on the job and you start slow. Every day I learn something new, someone teaches me something different and just little techniques here and there. Well, sometimes it's almost better having somebody in green, you know, like, because they have a different willingness to learn where they're not like set in their ways. Anybody <laughs> new, regardless if it's male or female, it's a learning curve for everybody, yeah. right? Yeah. They're, they look after the machines. Easy on they're, the equipment. They're, uh, they're not rammy like, you know, some you know, guys can be they, really rammy. They come to work <laughs> every day. They're so passionate about what they do. And yeah. you know what? We show up every day too. Yeah, you can pay them on Wednesday and they're here Thursday. <laughs> <laughs>